Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can create a chat application using React.js and Zigo Cloud. We will see how we can create a one-to-one -one chat, uh, the group chat between different users and once the user send the uh, chat messages, we show a notification and once we click on the conversation, uh, the notification is gone and we can uh, chat here. And it is sent by the user Amir974 to the user 828 and if we go to that particular user 828 so the message is shown there and we can reply from here as well right and it will be shown on the uh, other side right and similarly we can create the group chat and we if we send some messages uh, from a group chat it will be sent to the users uh, which are involved in that particular group so here you see the message has been received on the in the group chat right we will be creating this application using react.js and different components provided by the zigo cloud zigo cloud is a global communication service provider which provides powerful sdks with developer friendly apis to build many type of communication features in your applications such as video call chat video conference live streaming etc thanks to zigo cloud for those such wonderful features and this video is sponsored by zigo cloud as well and if you sign up with the link I have provided in the description below, you will get 10,000 free minutes. In this tutorial, we will be using Zigo Cloud's pre-built UI kit components. They have a lot of UI kits and different components and those are ready to use. And we will be using those uh, to save our time and we will get the same experience as we have shown in the uh, intro. So once you will sign up with the link I have provided in the description below, you will get 10,000 free minutes as well and this will be the uh, console you will be presented with so where you can get uh, the overview of your console the list of the projects different analytics your usage and billing etc right so you will be creating a new project here so we can say which type of project like video conference live streaming voice and video call uh, in-app chat etc so we will be creating the in-app chat project click on that and go next so we can name that maybe we can say in app chat and continue so it will take some time to create the project so i will be back once it's done all right so project has been created and this is the project information the project name app id the secret etc and we will be needing the app id etc uh, later on and then for the in-app chat uh, we need to move to the service management and inside that under the in-app chat we need to activate the in-app chat so we click on the activate and it says that uh, when you activate the in-app chat its free trial will be activated and then for the push notification you have the required information from the google and apple etc so we because we are using uh, on the web so we do not need that one and we can say ready to activate it will take some time so i will be back once it's done all right so in-app chat has been activated right so for the in-app chat uh, we will be using the in-app chat kit and we will using its uh, web javascript version right and the features include our one-to-one -one chat and the group chat sending messages and sending rich media messages like images etc and the support platforms are android ios web react native right and the components that we will be getting out of the box will be the conversation component it will be showing our chat list and then the message component that will be showing the messages uh, against a one-to-one -one chat or the group chat so let's go ahead and integrate the sdk and so prerequisite are where we need to have the app id and the server secret from the admin console that we have already uh, created the project and got the those right and after that we need to uh, subscribe to the in-app chat service that we have also uh, activated right and then these are the environment specific uh, requirements right and after that uh, inside uh, inside instead of the view we will be integrating inside the react right so we can navigate directly to that so this is the command to integrate that inside the react right 
so before that we let's create our react project so we can say npx create react app and we can name that maybe in app chat right so it will take some time uh, for creating the project so i will wait once it's done all right so in app chat project has been created so let's go ahead and uh, start it we can say npm start and it will show whatever is uh, given by the default uh, react.js project so this is how it will look like by default so let's go ahead and move to the app.js and remove everything whatever is inside and uh, here we can maybe say welcome back and if i save it here you go okay so we were uh, at here so let's go ahead and install the sdk so copy the command and inside the terminal we can paste it so it will install uh, the sdk and after it is installed uh, we need to create the instance of that so for that uh, we will be copying the uh, import statements so copy this one and at the top move this one and then uh, they are using the class based component so if you are using the class base you can directly copy this one uh, because we are using the functional component so we can copy the code and modify that uh, uh, accordingly so they have they are using some state here right so we can copy the content of the state and we can uh, create our own state so here we can say use state and name it maybe the state and here we can paste the content right and what we need to do is we need to add the app id and the server secret that we can get from the uh, Google cloud admin console right and then we need the user id and the username and the avatar if we have any right so uh, for the app id and the apps uh, server secret we can create the a constant file here we can say constants.js and here we can say export const app id is equal to i'm just uh, hard coding it i will be copying the uh, these app id and the secret from the console and will paste it here right so we can say export const the app secret is equal to something right i will uh, replace these values uh, with actual values later on okay so here we can say it's the app id and this is the app secret uh, from the constants right then we need a user id so we can uh, generate some uh, user ids maybe we can say const id is equal to we can say math dot random and maybe we can multiply it uh, with the uh, thousand and because it will be a value in the, the float so we can say math dot floor and make it uh, integer right so it will be giving us a value from uh, 0 to 1000 right so we can say this is the id and here we can say uh, our user id will be something we can say amir and then uh, whatever is the id generated above right actually we will be launching our application on uh, multiple tabs so every time we will be getting a new uh, user id right so that we can chat between different uh, users right so but in your actual application uh, you will be getting the user id from uh, your backend database or server something like that right so we can say user id is this one and we can say uh, the username is again the same as the user id right and after it is done uh, in the component did mount we need uh, these lines so we creating the manager then then creating the token and initializing it and then uh, connect the user with the token right so we can copy this one 
and again we can write the use effect right and and inside that uh, because you see uh, we are using the weight here so we can create a small function here uh, we can say const init is equal to uh, function which is, which is async so that we can use the weight inside that right and we can paste the code here and we can call the init uh, function right we can remove this one so it will act as a uh, component dead mode right and the return in the return we will be returning the common and here we can will be returning the common so we need to change the this code as well so instead of uh, this start state so it will be directly the state so remove this start state uh, because those were uh, they were using the uh, class based component but, but we are using the functional component so we are done with the code so the only thing needed to update is the these constants values so let me copy the constant these values from the console and paste it that here so i have updated the app id and the app secret in, in the constant.js and if i save it and go to the ui here you go welcome back and in app chat ui so from here you can uh, create the new chat one to one chat or the group chat or even join a group and uh, here the chats will be listing and here you can uh, chat so because we are creating the ids here uh, we can uh, show that uh, here as well so we can say welcome back um, or maybe we can say it is inside the state dot user id so we can say welcome back this id and if i save it here you go so this is the id uh, for this user and if i copy this one and open another one here you go and this is a different user this is a different user right so it is amir828 and here if i create the new chat and say the id is amir828 and if i create a one-to-one -one chat and say hi right so chat has created and if i go to that particular user here you go the chat is there so we can say hi there and if i send and go back here you go the message is reached there and even where we can send uh, some emojis and emojis are there and we can send even uh, the pictures as well so maybe we can say this one and it is loading here you go and the picture has been sent to the other user as well right so similarly we can create a group chat as well so if i create another user so amir605 so here 974 and 828 so uh, staying at here we can say create a group chat we can say group chat and the user is 974 so it is 974 and to create it uh, we need to separate it by a uh, semicolon so we can say 974 semicolon and amir828 i guess yeah 828 so we create a group chat and we can say hi from group if i send it so group chat has been created and if i go there here you go so one chat and notification so i from a group and again notification and i from group and i can reply from here so i am replying from 974 so it is showing on the right side and on the other users in the receiving side it will be shown on the left side so from this 974 user so there is a message from 974 user it is saying reply and again here it's saying reply right so this is how uh, we create the one-to-one -one chat and the group chat right and we can send uh, text messages or the images or 
even the videos or the uh, files as well along with the emojis right all right so that's it on exploring the in-app chat module from the zigo cloud and using that we can create the one-to-one -one chat or the group chat and share text as well as the multimedia messages but still if you have any question please let me know in the comments below or you can directly uh, contact the zigo cloud support uh, for your queries and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you